Would you all please rise for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to welcome everybody and call the uh, first board meeting of November in session and welcome everybody here. Uh, Mr. Clerk, would you call the roll? Good morning. Lorenzen. Here. Ludington. Here. Patrick. Here. Bruner. Here. Chittick. Here. And Farnham. Here. Boyd. Here. Okay. We do have a quorum. In fact, everybody's here. Uh, you've had the minutes from the October 11th, 2017 regular meeting before you for several days. Are there any corrections or additions to those minutes? If not, I'd entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Derek moves. Second. Andy seconds. Any further discussion? Assume you're ready to vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? It does carry. Thank you. Claims against the county? You've likewise had those before you for several days. Uh, are there any questions, additions? Questions? Is this for custody? No. Nope. This is the Edgar County Board meeting. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know yeah, we'll only be less than an hour. Um, hearing none, is there a motion to approve the claims? So moved. Dan moves. Second. Derek seconds. Any further discussion? Thank you. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed nay. They do carry. County board member claims. Likewise, you've had those before you for several days. Are there any questions, additions? Hearing none, I'd entertain a motion to approve those claims. So moved. Derek moves. Andy seconds. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. They are carried. Now we come before or to the part of the meeting where we ask for public comment. I'd like to remind you if you do have a comment that so uh, we limit uh, any uh, statements to five minutes. So is there any public comment to come to the county board this morning? Hearing none, we'll move on to the next uh, item, which is the highway resolution authorizing responsible agencies to post roads to 10 tons effective January 5th, 2018 to April 5th, 2018. We discussed that on uh, Monday morning. The engineer went over that with us. Is there any further questions or discussions about that issue? Is this for just the county roads or is this authorizing the townships they can do the same? The latter, yes, it's authorizing townships as well. Yeah. I'll make that motion. Carl moves. Second. Derek seconds. Uh, would you call the roll, Mr. Clerk? Sir. Lorenzen? Yes. Ludington? Yes. Patrick? Yes. Bruner? Yes. Chittick? Yes. And Farnham? Yes. 6 0. 6 0, it is approved. Next, we go to the resolution uh, approving the annual budget and appropriations and tax levies for fiscal year beginning December 1st, 17, and ending November 30th, 18. I went over that briefly. We did make one change so we didn't have to do a Scribner correction uh, on the second to the last page, which uh, is the summary of tax levies on the special uh, service area number, one ambulance service, we had the wrong dates. We had 16 and 17, and we changed those to 17 to 18. And so they, in the final copy, that is uh, what appears. I'd like to highlight a couple things for the meeting this morning. Uh, one of the things I'd like to make sure everybody realizes is this year's total levy 
is down by almost $10,000. There's no increase in the total levy. So we're down about $9,800 and some change. Uh, also, the budget uh, is balanced uh, and does recognize that we're going to be catching up with the uh, Courthouse Improvement Fund and also to pay down some of the deficit that uh, has been we've been carrying for about six, seven years. So those things are included and we're scheduled to, to spend $845 less than what we take in. So that's fairly close on a 44 or $4.4 .4 million budget. But I wanted to say thank you to all the board members that have <coughs> participated and especially to all the department heads and elected officials that have cooperated and worked hard for the last several months to get the budget together and we very much appreciate it. So are there further questions or things that you feel that we should highlight fellow board members? Okay, then what uh, procedure is on an annual basis is we will bring this up again for final approval on the 29th of this month at a regu another regularly scheduled board meeting. It will lay uh, out for public inspection for the next, what, 20 some days uh, as required by law. So what we're doing this morning is saying this is the final, I mean this is the final draft of this budget and levy and public comment will be taken into consideration at the last meeting before we do final approval. So I would entertain a motion to uh, approve uh, and authorize it being put on display. So do I have a motion for that resolution? So moved. Derek moves Second. and John seconds. Further discussion? Hearing none, Mr. Clerk, would you call the roll? Lorenzen? Yes. Luddington? Yes. Patrick? Yes. Bruner? Yes. Chittick? Yes. Farnham? Yes. 6 0. It is carried and it will be laid out on display in the, uh, in the clerk's office. So if there's any questions or input, please direct it at one of the board members or myself and we'll address it. Number 10. And the next four items are housekeeping items that we do on an annual basis. The departments that these represent expend money out of the general fund and collect fees and services that then go at the end of the year and repay for the money that the general fund has paid out. The first one is a resolution authorizing Treasurer to transfer 5000 from the uh, dog fund to the county general fund. And that does leave a balance of over $1,000. So is there a motion to approve that resolution, please? Andy moves, Dan seconds. Further discussion? Mr. Clerk, would you call the roll? Lorenzen? Yes. Ludington? Yes. Patrick? Yes. Bruner? Yes. Chittick? Yes. Farnham? Yes. Does carry 6-0. Next is a resolution authorizing the treasurer to transfer 12000 from the Ravies Fund to the General Fund. And the balance left in that account would be a little over $1,000 likewise. Do I have a motion to approve that resolution? Um, Dan moves. Andy seconds. Mr. Clerk? Lorenzen? Yes. Ludington? Yes. Patrick? Yes. Bruner? Yes. Chittick? Yes. Farnham. Yes. And I'm trying to find the other fund to see what the balance is. Okay, uh, next is a resolution authorizing Treasurer to transfer $5,000 from the Pet Population Fund to the County General <coughs> Fund. Uh, it's called something else. Okay, there would be $2,800 left in that fund. There's $7,800 in that fund right now. So, uh, we have a re uh, Motion to approve that resolution, please. So Derek moves. Second. Andy seconds. Mr. Clerk. Lorenzen. Yes. Ludington. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Bruner. Yes. Chittick. Yes. Farnham. Yes. 
And the last item, well, not the last item, but the housekeeping item, resolution authorizing treasurer to transfer 40000 from the farm fund to the county general fund. The farm fund is uh, obviously from uh, rental of farm ground out there at the airport, plus rental of the T hangers and the main hangar. Uh, that fund currently has 831. 831 has $50,616 in there. So we're transferring 40 out to leave us with a buffer. And of course, we'll be collecting uh, new rental, farm rental funds, and of course, tea hanger funds on a monthly basis. So that gives us a flexibility, like to pay for the light and et cetera, that's going to be done. And taxes. And taxes, right. So could I have a motion to approve that resolution, please? So moved. Sorry. And uh, Carl seconds, please. <coughs> Mr. Clerk, when you're ready. Lorenzen? Yes. Ludington? Yes. Patrick? Yes. Bruner? Yes. Chittick? Yes. And Farnham? Yes. It does carry. Thank you. Uh, resolution authorizing the treasurer to transfer 60000 from the general fund to the courthouse improvement fund. As you're aware, uh, we sold the Kreckman building for 65000 We kept 5000 of that to pay for some of the incidentals and moving and, and cleaning up and the things we did. And the 60000 will go some ways to help make up some of the monies that uh, were not paid several years ago to that court improvement courthouse improvement fund and goes along with the commitment that the board has to get that caught up so by 2023 we're in the position to to carry out our obligations on the bond issue so a motion to approve this resolution carl moves second. derek seconds now, are there further questions or clarifications that you would want to make to this? Hearing none, Mr. Clerk? Lorenzen? Yes. Ludington? Yes. Patrick? Yes. Bruner? Yes. Chittick? Yes. And Farm? Yes. Item, thank you, gentlemen. Item 15, um, we're going to table that. We uh, got the names wrong on there, and that'll be on the 29th meeting to approve those appointments and we'll get that corrected and get it squared away. Um, next. We need a motion to table that. Oh, we can. Sure. If you don't. Oh, we don't really. We're just okay. going to skip it unless, okay. it, but I'll Fine. do whatever the board. Uh, <laughs> we can reappoint them if you want. Just in case they didn't catch it last year. Okay, we're timed now for the officers and department head reports. Oh, one thing I forgot to, to get into, well, I'll get into that under my report. I'd like to talk about the levy a little bit in IMRF, or Don and I can talk it together about it right now. Well, I'll let you when you do Okay, go ahead, Don. Um, we, our collection season has pretty much come to a close. Um, we are right up there where we've always been over 99% collected. Um, 127 parcels remained unpaid as of October 26th, so it went through the tax sale, meaning uh, somebody else paid the taxes, which puts a tax lien on the property, and then they had the owners have the option to redeem them in the county clerk's office. Uh, I just want to emphasize we're just selling the taxes. We do not sell the properties at a tax sale. Um, I'll be doing a final distribution over the next week or two. I'm hoping to see all the penalties and everything hit our general fund uh, as we all, always do. By statute, the general fund gets all penalties and fees uh, transferred to it. That should happen somewhere in the next couple of weeks. I'm hoping it hits before the next board meeting, so you can see some hard numbers in those accounts. Other than that, we've been playing uh, catch up on a lot of things that we had to put on the back burner, just general things, nothing, uh, nothing uh, major, but uh, it is good to be able to come in and uh, focus on what we need to do otherwise, besides just taxes. 
Are there any questions? Do you have a ballpark figure on what the state of Illinois owes us? Just okay. I'm saying if you're considering their their in arrears normal or payments for income tax and this, if we throw the probation money in there, I know we're going to be talking two hundred thousand, maybe. 250 does that sound about right yeah yeah somewhere in that neighborhood I we did get sales tax in this morning and I receded it in real quick and it hits your report um, I'm not gonna hold my breath uh, last November it, it seems like it was a I held my breath and about passed out hoping for some money to show up but uh, I would sure like to see some probation money we did get two more months of it, by the way. Uh, we'll say that thumbs up, but we are still still needing quite a few months of probation. That would make a, a nice shot in the arm by the end of the month. Any other questions? Thank you. Aaron? <clears throat> uh, if, if we get decent weather, we'll strike with that federal safety project. So we have a nice... 50 degree day between now and Christmas, you'll see some striping going on. Uh, regarding funding, uh, the county got its consolidated, which was half of what it was last year, but the meeting township didn't show up until yesterday. So the meeting township did show up and it was in fact half of what it is typically. And we're working on our safety guardrail project, getting, getting something together to uh, to get a qualification-based selection on an engineer to, to work on that project. Yeah, that, that was expected to half. Well, it was announced last month expected. or whatever that, that 300 million that they're paying back <coughs> they were out of certain programs. Had cut, generally speaking, half dozen or more programs they were going to cut in half to pay 300 million back to the capital bonds. So that, that was announced, I think, in September, late September. And then I sent out an email to you guys, and I think Gary covered it in the paper. And then uh, that's actually come to fruition, is my point. The check for needy town, town, townships came yesterday. It came yesterday, and it is talks cheap, right? When you finally get the check and see what it is. So consolidated and townships are both in; they're both half. Expectation going forward is that will continue. Uh, I, my expectation is is more pain. Yes, that's my expectation. Uh, as we budget this around January, as we budget, we'll budget for half. If that answers your question. But you never know if you'll even get that. So. Make sense? Yep. Thanks. Yes, sir. How many of the townships in Egan County were classified as the needy? 13 of the 15. How many? 13 of the 15. Okay. Thank you, Aaron. Yes, sir. Eric, do you have anything to report? Um, our advanced EMT class finishes their last class tomorrow night. So then they'll be on to the state testing, and that will be, they'll be done with state testing in December. So we should have some new advanced EMTs starting in December. How many is in that program? We have three that, are, that have completed it. Are they on your staff? Um, two are and one's from out of the area that, that came to the train. Thank you, Eric. Janet? Uh, no, not really anything to report. Still pushing the flu vaccine, so okay. still got plenty available. Has the flu hit us pretty hard yet? Not mm -hmm. really. It's been pretty mild. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Jill? Um, we've been attending a lot of emergency preparedness meetings from, with the schools and nursing homes. And then we got word that we got our EOC improvement grant, which was $18,670, which we can use um, to do improvements, phones, furniture, things like that out of our building. Any questions of uh, Jill? Do, was it your place that has the issue structural by the door. The door is, um, is that still fixed? No. Can you, some of that money you just got yes. can go to the yeah. alley right to put John up there to fix it? Yeah. Yes. Sweet. You can use that to fix the doors, there. floors, anything. It's just um, like an improvement fund. New phones, um, do radios, whatever. Jill, I'm sorry. Yeah. How much was that grant money again? Um, $18,670. Okay. Thank right. you. Well, insulation. Mm -hmm. We got the <laughs> Sheriff? Sure. I have anything at this time. Thank you.
Thank you, Sharon. Tom? Nothing to report. Tom, did you, we get any updates on the, since we sent out the bids again? We no updates. Back. And last but not least, Augie. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we had a bid opening yesterday afternoon, 2 o'clock, in my office uh, with uh, Bushu. Uh, it was a teleconference. Um, we had a uh, representative from Diamond Brothers with us. He is Austin Puxford, and he is in the audience here. And uh, he's, our, he's our agent. Um, we only had one bidder. And that is our current carrier, ICRMT. And preliminary, as far as we know, there will be basically no increase in the premium. Uh, they're compiling data, and just Bushu is going through the formality of making a comparison of uh, what it was last year to what it's going to be this year. They'll send that to us. Um, we will put that on the agenda for our next meeting and officially uh, accept their bid because uh, that insurance will go into effect December 1st of this year. Property? Yeah, I'm sorry, property, casualty, liability, yes. So we'll see basically no change in, in anything. That's good. You guys remember, is it $5,000 deductible? Does that sound right? Yes. It is. Except for except for the sheriff's department. Yeah. Questions? Yeah, any other questions? Austin's here. What's the deduct about the sheriff's department? Twenty five. Twenty five. Is there any type of health savings account that we can put the money back? Yeah. <laughs> Good one. It's kind of the same, five thousand dollar deductible. Did I miss anybody? I think that's all I have. Okay. High deductible liability plan. <laughs> you just go on and on. Anyway. Uh, I guess we'll move into uh, board reports. Mr. Bruner? Uh, not a whole lot. I think I mentioned a couple weeks ago that Andrew got hurt out at the animal shelter. And right now she's going through physical therapy and she'll find out I think this week or she'll have to have surgery. And if she does, then we'll have to work out something for Linda. Linda said she could handle it, but she may need some part-time help. So right now it's in kind of waiting to see what happens to Andrew. So okay. Other than that, nothing. Linda's well, getting everything covered now and no problems. Mm -hmm. yeah. Andrew, is she still working? Oh. Yeah, she's still working. Okay. Yeah. Right. But Linda said she thought she could handle it. So. She, she might have to work all day. Mm -hmm. She is now, basically. Yeah. Thank you, Dan. Andy, do you have anything at this time? Not much. I'm still waiting to hear back from the uh, <clears throat> group in, in Chicago that did the uh, study on the courthouse. I haven't heard anything back from him yet. Okay. So we do let you know. Okay. Nothing, Bill? No. Okay. John? Sir? I don't have anything. Carl? Derek? Waiting on, um, we had to send revised bids out to our two bidders on the, on the tower, um, waiting on their response. Those are out, right? We, we sent them for the paperwork. So um, once we get their response, uh, we will uh, award the bid and we will be off the races. Um, that's it. Okay. Thank you. Any questions for Derek? Okay, I had a couple of items. The annual meeting of the Illinois Association of County Boards uh, is on the 30th, and I thought I would go over there. One of the deals they're talking about, and I thought I'd extend the invitation to Don, but they're doing a part of the deal would be the Illinois Comptroller Government Reporting and Transparency, and they're going to talk about the new accounting system that's mandated for fiscal responsibilities. And it's something that you and I may go over. It's totally up to you, but I thought I might go over and see what was going on. Probably go just to growl a little bit, but I would I'd like to have a chance to growl. Tell them about it. All right, that's fine. 
I'd like to also report that we do have a, everything is signed, sealed, and delivered with uh, Rick Stewart, uh, and we have totally retained him as our labor attorney for further negotiations with our, our unions. So everything is signed, sealed, and delivered. Talked to him uh, last night, and uh, he's going to start doing some of the things we talked about and moving forward with that. Uh, I did want to mention. Excuse me, Jeff. I, yes. Did you have any indication on when he'd be ready to meet with us? No, he I did not. He he wanted to he wanted to get with the, the gentleman that you right. we had talked about first, and then he said he would get a hold of us okay. rather than okay. Um, I did want to note that we've had one payroll hit the budget this month. Um, it's higher than normal which we expect it was 94000 But I also wanted to highlight the fact that the overtime from the Sheriff's Department was under $3,000 for that time period. So they have been, uh, gosh, I even hate to even say it, so I'm not going to. At any rate, that's great, okay? Um, I did want to point out that the levy, uh, one of the grand reasons that the levy is able to uh, be reduced even by a nominal amount with some of the other increases is because of the IMRF fund. And because of the diligence of the treasurer's office and the board in catching up with some of the unfunded portions of our uh, retirement plan, which we have started doing about, what, five or six years ago, Carl? We've been able to cut up, we are not cut down. We've not only cut it down, we've eliminated it. So we were able to lower that levy substantially. And we may see some other cost saving benefits from that in the future. And I wanted to thank the treasurer because of his work and you guys makes a big difference. And Billy Ann and the, and, and the clerk's office, everybody working together, it's, it's a good thing. Uh, I think the budget, we'll take a look at that a little more closely at the second meeting. We'll have a better idea where it's at. The accountants or our auditors will be in sometime in mid-December, given that uh, the bills don't pass to change our accounting system, but they will be in to make, mark up the final, uh, make the final adjustments on FY17, and then we can move forward from there. So that's about all I have at this point. Are there questions of me, the budget, uh, anything? I'm wearing socks, you know, that kind of stuff. Can we talk about this piece real quick, Jim? What is that? Um, what the packet you gave me in regards to the sure. paying the bond back. Um, I just had one quick question about that. You and Don can tighten me up on it. So that bond was issued in two separate bondings, right? 185 right. and 815. So the 36,000 corresponds to the 815 bond. Right. We have a 15,000 roughly obligation running on the 185. Is right. that, are we paying that? I, we just haven't talked to that, so I just want to... It is being learn. paid every time. We are not in arrears on, on any that payments. That was good to go. Yes. Okay. What the only thing we have to do is check to see that everybody, and I want to say this delicately, is meeting their obligation on it, it's being paid. Now, discussed previously, that was one we had the question mark about was the 185 side. Right, okay. that's correct. Okay. And I think there's a bond payment due here directly, isn't there? December 1st. Right, so, and we already have the money from the uh, city for their share to do that. We got a check, what, last week? Yeah, I think so. On, on both? No, that's what we need to talk Okay. That's what the uh, treasurer's office is researching, as I discussed with you on Monday morning. Okay, I'm sure it's all going to work out, but we need to address all the issues. I think we need just need to revisit the whole project so everybody's comfortable with where we're at because not but we have sort of ignored it the last few years, and we need to get caught back up. And everybody needs to be well versed on where we're at on that deal. Okay, do you agree with that? Agreed. Okay. But we are making the payments. Every, yeah, we're not, everything's, and there was never any fear of that, okay? I, just for my 
information. So we talk about the $36,000 regular in case this would be actually, what, um, $51,000 total going in. So when you say we were making payments, are we making payments to ourselves to cover our side of things, or are we actually making payments to this Chicago firm to cover our obligation? Yeah, we're, well, I know that August. We are, we are going down the amortization schedule like clockwork and making our payment to the holder of the bond. The bond. Both so, of them. Both of them, yes. And That's that is coming out of the treasurer's office. So when we had a couple of years here where we didn't, pay it, we just weren't paying into our kitty. Correct. Right. Got it. And that's why earlier this year we had to borrow from the general fund to make make things work. Okay. And we'll get caught up on that. Was, that was an overarching we borrowed to cover other debts, but that was a piece of the puzzle, right? Right. Okay. Does that? Yeah. And we've got some more work to do in the next month or so to get everything else squared away. Okay? No problems. It's just we just need to see where everybody's at and make sure we all understand yeah. it. And we, just so everybody's on board, we talked about this in the study session. Um, Jeff, I, and you worked on this, going through to catch us up. So yes. we had basically two years of not covering the 36 into our own funds. Oh, two and a half years. Two and okay. a half years. So Well, more than that, but what we've done this year with the 60, it, all put together, we're going to, at the end of 18, we'll be short, I think, uh, 83,000, roughly, okay? And we've got four years to do right. that, and our commitment is to go ahead and do that, so. Which would basically put our payments not at $36,000 the remainder, but roughly what we're budgeting. 58,000 for the next <coughs> four years in addition to FY18. That's okay. 600000 we were left. Talking about the debt? This is separate. This is the... This is, this is total. To this is for the right. Courthouse right. Improvement Fund. I got you now. Okay, no problem. But I think it's important that we discuss this and keep on top of it and double check. That's why I got you copies of that. So one thing I forgot to give you, uh, Derek, and I will get it to you, is the everything that's been paid when it's been paid both on uh, the uh, and the in income side of that that deal so since 10 since we started making payments okay and if you want it sooner than i can get it all you got to do is waltz down to don's office and he can do a printout back to 2010 so you can see exactly what's been done and just to kind of fold it into everything else, we are on the hook for 58000 plus the 15000 until 2023. So um, what's that math in public? 70... Crap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 73000 73, right? So we're on the hook for 73000 up into 2023. And then from 2023 through 2030, we're on the hook basically back to it being uh, 51000 Not less than that, but at any rate, yes. Give or take. And, and they do drag down, if you notice, the payments also fold out too. So Right, the backside of, well, we set up our payment schedule basically to cover us with a little bit of wiggle room on the bigger side. The 15000 roughly carries you through until the last payment in 2030, which is 7000 right? So... You know, in a perfect world, ideally, once we hit 2030, I mean, I'm sure we won't have anything else to, to pay for, you know, we can, we can turn to on other things, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope to be on a, some beach somewhere, Derek. <laughs> and I definitely here. will be on a beach somewhere. Be somewhere. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. In fact, it may be about a week that I'll be on a beach. Well, don't rub it in, Jeff. Don't rub it in. In fact, a week from today. <laughs> So give me your gavel. Fishing. Give me your gavel. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we, we're not going to solve everything today, but we need to keep talking about it so we thoroughly understand it. Okay? And I think we've made some good steps forward to uh, 
getting the knowledge we need. I feel a hell of a lot better than I did, uh, you know, a few months ago. We said, "Oh my God!" <laughs> so, well, so yeah. We'll and I, I'm sorry. It was busy time of the year. I could have gotten it maybe no, you're faster, fine. but you're fine. We, we've got it. So it's, yeah, it, it's a little doing. Maybe it's on Manitron. Yeah. Is uh, it's all erased on Manitron. Do you have anything else? On the, nope. <clears throat> does anybody else have I, anything? Yes, Don. Just to follow up with what the chairman was talking about, IMRF. I read an email a while back, it's probably been months ago, there are other counties that are facing the same underfunded problems. Some of them haven't even taken the first step to remedy this. We are way ahead of the curve. So we are, uh, I am pleased, very pleased that we can now look forward because the problem this past year when we had to borrow was basically IMRF was depleted, but why was it depleted? Because we paid them off, we're done with it. Now as we move forward, we're able to decrease our levy, and I mean, I'm, I, I'm not saying we have sunny skies with no clouds ahead of us, but I'm just saying we have put that behind us when some counties haven't even started. So yeah, that, that was, that's, that's a good thing. Thank you for your comments, Don. But working together, we can solve anything. If in the next week or two you don't hear from Arnie, you might get him a call yeah. so we can kind of know where we're at on that because that's... <laughs> did really, really gray at the skies if it was, you know, right. catastrophic failures of our courthouse. That you yeah, were cold in there, yeah. yeah. Exactly. When, I, when I was <clears throat> with that guy that day, he, I mean, he, didn't, he said that the, what we did helped an enormous amount mm -hmm. and that it wasn't quite as critical as, as what, I, what I've been led to believe, I guess. But that's the advantage of having someone come look at it and knows what they're looking at. Like, you go up there and look at it. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's stuff needs to be done to it, but he said when we, we bought ourselves some time there to, to do some research and get it done correctly this time. So. Are they going to look at phasing too? <coughs> is some of that yes, possible? Yes, step like this is critical. Um, so they're going to done immediately two year project three year prioritize road, things. Yeah. Okay, great. That'll be very helpful. And with and cost estimates, it, that'll make it easier for us to budget. You can't eat a whole whale, but you can eat him a bite at a time. Well, we like this to be a learning experience for everybody. <laughs> Is there anything else to come before the meeting? I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Derek moves. Right. Andy seconds. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. We are adjourned, and thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.